Hello, namaste, blessings, Hare Krishna to you all and to all of your loved ones and to everyone on the planet right now. In honor of the interview and class we are offering tomorrow with Dr. Michael Geary, a.k.a. Budar Das, I wanted to share uh, our experience just a few minutes ago with Narayani Lev. We asked her to pick some cards from one of the many decks um, that we have used over the years. And Dr. Geary, uh, his work as a lifelong business and life coach, Vedic philosopher, teacher, humanitarian, father, um, person uh, on the bhakti path has been to bring together the world's greatest wisdom traditions and to really package them in a way through something called he calls the Dharma Diamond um, to help people and support them on their paths and so we were reading through one of our cards today that we haven't in a while which is the um, sacred path cards the medicine wheel cards from a uh, someone named Jamie Sams and uh, they are in the Seneca tribe tradition of Native American and I'm sure many people have seen these cards they're super awesome so I'm gonna read the three cards that Narayani picked today and she picked these three cards which are probably backwards for you um, but it's Sundance, Great Mystery and North Shield and um, the readings by Jamie are quite long, so I'm not going to actually read the whole teaching, but I'm going to give you the synopsis or the application because I find them to be incredibly useful, um, pertinent, um, and just altogether perfect for what we're all going through right now. So, Sundance. The application, he describes um, what the males of the tribe go through in what's called the Sundance, um, which is a way to actually honor pain and specifically honor women um, as they come into their manhood in various ways and come into their visions and empowerment because women are always carrying Mother Earth, as we would say Mother Gaia's um, pain as well as joy, but specifically in the sense of water through her, any liquids. So, the application, the Sundance cards asks us to look at what needs to be sacrificed so that the sacredness of our lives may be restored. It could be that doubt or fear are trailing our dreams and need to be sacrificed so that our dreams may live. On the other hand, if some bad habit has limited our capability, that habit needs to be conquered. Recklessness and overindulgence can thwart the abundant life we seek if we do not rid those parts of the self that represent our shadow. Your shadow is always ready to be sacrificed. If you have learned from dancing with the darkness of ignorance, you will learn what is no longer sacred in your life. Then the sacrifice becomes your truth. If you use less paper in order to save the rainforests, you make them sacred. In all instances, you are being asked to give up something in order to stand in the truth of your convictions, giving up aerosols, apathy, bitterness, greedy friends, or too much sugar can change the worth of your life. Remember, self-sacrifice is not denying your needs, but rather the self's decision to willingly sacrifice limitation through action. The Sundance. And so now, great mystery, original source, the application of great mystery. The card tells us the original source is the creator of all life and that we are all created in that likeness. We are free-willed co-creators who become the source of all we choose to experience in life. The buck stops here. We are totally responsible for all of our joys and all of our pain. In receiving this card, you are being reminded to give gratitude for all of your lessons. It changes any pain to gain. Focus on your creative capacity and you can change anything. It may be time to drop any blame, shame, or regret and take charge of your life. The victim role doesn't suit two-leggeds. 
We are created in the image of an infinite creator and are therefore limitless co-creators. In all cases, great mystery will continue to confound and astonish us every time we try to figure it all out. Stop your mind's chatter and listen to the source. Original source shows us that the mystery lives within us and contains all the answers we need to find along the path, the sacred path. And the sacred path of beauty is experiencing the mystery of life without having to control the outcome from our tunnel vision command post. Go with the flow and watch the glory of limitless co-creation. After all, great mystery is the divine plan and everything is on schedule. And then she picked, it was like sneaky the way it happened, but this card, the North Shield, number 11. So 637 and number 11. And the application, some type of wisdom is coming your way. If you have chosen the North Shield card, you are now being asked to show gratitude for these new understandings in order to continue the growth process. Wisdom is one way in which you can experience the natural order of the universe and how it applies to your life. Wisdom is an inner knowing that cannot be traded or sold or stolen from you. Knowing is truth that has been experienced in your life. The North Shield tells you that you have learned a lesson and derived from it a sense of self that will serve you for the rest of your life. The successful completion of this lesson should be marked by prayers of thanksgiving or acknowledgement in gratitude. In so doing, you will have completed the circle of the sacred hoop and honored the source of that truth. Remember that the gift of wisdom is in the heart of the recipient and remains alive as long as it is honored as a blessing. Take that for whatever it is. Hopefully we'll see you for Kirtan tonight and tomorrow, 12 p.m., Thursday, April 2nd, for interview with Dr. Giri Haribo.